It's Brian Hensley. All right, let's go back inside the cage of Tony. In the red corner, weighing in at 205 pounds, representing Team Tough and Stuff. No wins, one loss from North Lawrence, Ohio. It's Matt Maynard. He's gonna get you. In the blue corner, weighing in at 205 pounds, representing Team Instigator. Four wins, one loss from Ravenna, Ohio. It's Brian, the Valentine's Day Killer, Hensley. Well, well, we mentioned it is a packed house here at the Cat Civic Center. Anytime a guy from Instigator gets announced, the people go crazy. Even the beautiful ring girls are cheering. Aren't they supposed this, to be unbiased? Uh, they're, they're, you're going to see the ring girls in just a minute when the next <laughs> fight gets ready to start, because this is going to be over very shortly, I predict, Chuck. Well, I, Rover, uh, Rover so, Hensley's, Hensley has got something to prove here tonight in his hometown. You can count on that. He's looking to win, looking to win big. You know, Chuck, I don't think the ring girls have to observe journalistic objectivity. Very good. <laughs> The way we do. Maynard in a tough uh, situation here. Nice jab by Maynard. It. Yeah, Maynard got a jab in there. Big looping left by Hensley. Maybe he's going for the takedown, but he This is kind of where I think Hensley would want it to be. Hensley's been in there training with Tony Sylvester, Dan Bobish on the ground. I mean, he's looking for a guillotine. If maybe. I were Hensley, this is exactly where I'd want to keep it in tight. Boy, Maynard came in and Hensley did a great job of keeping his legs away from that takedown. Yeah, nice sprawl. He's a big, strong guy. And he's been working with guys that are even bigger and stronger. Maynard right now taking two blows, trying to get back to the grappling aspect of it. More shots. Hensley's punching him, oh punches down on him. Well, you just do not want to get in this oh. position against Hensley. Rover, this is what you called. And here it is. That it's over. stops it. Oh, my. You see Maynard holding the back of his head. Nice fight, Brian what? Hensley. Now, let me ask you, was that yes legal? Yeah, no, that the, legal? The, the strikes to the back of the head are not legal. Oh. You may see a uh, you may see a dispute here. We're going to find out. Because he was just punched in the could back be, of the head on be, eight, could be a eight warning. consecutive punches. Did you count? I don't I, yeah, know. I think they're taking, uh, I think they're penalizing him here. Could be a warning. They could take a full point. So when it's so not a stop the fight, he, he, he paused the fight. Ahead, How much time do you give him to recover then? Is there any any set rule? Like you know, in boxing, if you have a low blow, you have up to five minutes to recover. Or in baseball, when a pitcher gets injured, the next pitcher has as long as he wants to get Yeah, I was back. just going to say, Jeff, in a situation like this, they may give Maynard as, as much time as he needs. In this situation, we see right now, uh, you know, uh, Brian Hensley being told.